welcome to the Jody Murphy instructional series. This is Charlie and we're going to be working on him today. He's a cockapoo. And the thing about cockapoos, the one big thing about cockapoos is that they're all so different. They vary in size and coat and textures. Some are, are big, um, oversized cockers and uh, some are tiny little petite, more looking like poodles. So they're very, very different and um, a lot of groomers have a hard time trying to figure out what type to, of trim to put on these dogs. Um, now, if, like you can see, Charlie, he has a little poodle coat. It's, it's, it's a very soft coat, but it's a poodle coat. He has a dock tail like a Cocker Spaniel. So, um, and then he's got the straighter beard. So it, it's a little hard sometimes to figure out what to do with them that's going to really accentuate their, their features. Now you want to be careful with your top lines because if they do have a dip in their top line, um, you don't want to accentuate that. Now I'm going to go ahead, after I do my three and three quarter blade work, I'm going to go ahead and scissor this up and really tidy it up. But, you know, a great rule of thumb is tight body, big legs. If you put a nicer, tighter body on your trims and fuller legs, they look very stylish. You never want your legs to be um, skinnier than your body. If I, don't, if I put a snap on comb on the front of that leg, I might, I might scoop out that ankle here and, and I don't want to do that. I want to make sure I have a nice column. So I do that one. Okay. Once I have that set, now I'm going to go ahead and finish the top of that tail. Nice little terrier tail to put on your mixed breeds. Remember, it's tight on the inside, but longer on the outside. You know, you want to go real tight on here but then you want to come out and go longer. Now the Dandy Dinmont, I mean we're going to try to get this as close as we can. Obviously it's not a Dandy Dinmont, but we're going to try to get that look. Um, the, the Dandy Dinmont head should be three part muzzle to five part skull. Okay, so that means that skull is two parts longer. And that's the whole thing about grooming is to be creative and you can use different parts, body parts of certain breeds and put it all together and Look at your dog and see what looks what might look best on that type of body structure. Little cockapoo with a dandy little expression. Come here, Char. Come here. Hey, look at the camera. You need to go away. I know. I know. It was a big day. Okay, so there he is. I hope you learned a lot. Um, thank you for joining me. And please remember to check my website, uh, jodymurphy.net for more videos because we're always adding to our list of DVDs to help you be a better groomer. Okay, thanks for joining us. Bye.